What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome to my Elgato Game Capture HD video. This is going to be a video of me, you can see my shadow there, explaining the ins and outs of both the hardware and the software of the Elgato Game Capture device. I get a lot of people asking, what's the best game capture device, what capture device do I use, what, what best uh, settings is there for each capture device. The reason why I've got this on white paper by the way is because my black desk is there and you can't see the actual capture card with the black desk. And if you want to purchase a capture card guys, the link will be in the description and it's also on my homepage on YouTube. I'm going to show you, like I said, the hardware first. This is what it looks like. It's very, very small and compact. It just has two slots one side and two slots the other side. HDMI in and out each side and uh, the USB and the AV, which you won't be using on the actual device. is very, very lightweight. It can fit literally into your pocket, as you can see there, in my pocket. It's that small. You can put it in your pocket. So if you want to go around to a mate's or something, you can, you can take it with you to your mate's house. All you have to do, guys, all you need is HDMI cable, which goes from the TV into the HDMI in slot there. Then you have this wire, which is a USB. This comes with the actual capture card. Goes into the USB slot. Oop, there's my paper gone. And into the back of your computer, which goes into that section there. And the last section there, which is the HDMI out. Let's see if we can get that focused on there. Doesn't seem to want to focus on it. The HDMI out is the the USB from your Xbox or your PlayStation or your Xbox One into from the Xbox into the capture device here. Now, the PlayStation 4 will be available to be used in February or March once Sony release the update. That is the hardware. As you can see, guys, it is very lightweight, very soft. But let's get into the software itself. So guys, this is the actual software that we're looking at on the screen now. And before we get into the review of the software, what settings I use and how I actually capture my gameplay, I uh, just want to point out that the PlayStation 4 will work with the Elgato mid-February, early March, once Sony release a software update enabling the HDMI capture. It's actually not an Elgato issue, it's a Sony and PlayStation issue. But um, I just want to show you the settings panel, guys. Uh, I'm just going to show you the, the presets for all consoles. So the input device here is Xbox 360. It should be Xbox One because I am using the Xbox One. The input is HDMI. Of course, you can have component S-Video Composite if you use those, but this is a preset here, so the input is HDMI. The HDMI color range is expanded. The profile is 720 simply because FIFA is in 720. I could, of course, record in 1080. And I personally have my quality between better and best. So what, what this uh, this bar here is, is once if you have it on good, you're looking at, a not it's not obviously it's a good quality still but the file size is a bit smaller you suffer in a little bit with the quality if you put it up to best the file size is pretty big as you can see here you're looking at around 3.3 gigabytes per hour uh, 7 megabytes per second recording format and that's kind of the file size here or as you go all the way up to best you're looking at 12 gigabytes an hour here so once you go down to good Obviously, this heavily depends on what sort of computer you have will depend on what sort of quality you're looking at. So I go for in between better and best because uh, that's kind of the 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 set the set point for my computer and how I find it works best. So this basically will leave me with about for a 15 20 minute fifa game it will leave me with a file size about four gigabytes before you go then and edit that and render that out in your um in your program so there is a preset for xbox 360 xbox one playstation 3 and 4 the wii u the ipad the iphone 5 iphone 4s and older and other uh, of course we're only recording on the games consoles from playstation 3 and 4 xbox one and 360 looking at the picture the brightness contrast saturation and hue i leave all the same because there's no need to change that sort of thing and then with the audio again you can have an analog audio game which you change but again i, I leave i leave those things at default and i edit those if they need editing afterwards on the profiles now the profiles are actually for live streaming um, i'll show you that in just a second and then the advanced is a tv compatibility so only adjust this value if your tv fades black to white connected from the elgato game capture for me it doesn't so i leave that perfectly fine there one feature the uh, Elgato also has, which is the most phenomenal thing and has saved me many, many times, is the rollback recording feature that comes with the Elgato. You can see in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen here, there's a timestamp. It says 5 minutes, 5 seconds, and we have a red button here. So the red button indicates that the Elgato is not actually recording what's happening right now. Once you click this red button, it records it. You also have a rewind, pause, fast forward, and live the live feature is for this so what you can do see we've been recording for five minutes i haven't actually been recording for five minutes but what i can do is i can roll back 
a certain time period and actually go back and look at what was happening before I do believe this has a two hour window so you could have your Agato open not be recording play that game of FIFA and score that incredible goal and think holy damn I wasn't recording with the Elgato it doesn't matter you can go back and capture what you missed so once you go back to where you want to get you hit that record button and it automatically records everything from the moment you hit record up until the most current live moment on the screen now you can see now we've captured two minutes and 40 seconds of recording uh, data in a split second it's a brilliant feature and I t I'm guarantee you guys if you're a video editor if you're a youtuber doesn't matter if you play FIFA or any other game this feature will save you time and time again it's absolutely incredible so the other there's another couple of fo cool features the Elgato has. Um, if you guys watch Twitch streams, uh, they have a live stream and a live commentary uh, section within the 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 Elgato game capture software. And the reason why these are good, so for example, when I do a Ruin a Randomer, um, I record the gameplay and the audio live. Well, with the live commentary feature, you can pick the microphone that's plugged in. So for me, the microphone is the microphone I'm using now to record, which is my Sennheiser microphone. Uh, within the live commentary, you hit and you're now recording live commentary when you record the game. So you press the little but the microphone here once that button is green you know you're activated the live commentary you hit the record button and it records not only your gameplay but also your voice but it also has a brilliant feature here the automatically reduced game sound feature so let's say when I was playing Forza on my second channel I'd be talking about the game the race or whatever if a cutscene comes in where the woman's talking about the cars or the racetrack when I stop talking the game sound itself increases back to normal volume and you can hear her perfectly when I start talking her voice goes down in decibels and you can't really hear her so much because it precedents my voice over the game's voice so it's a really really cool feature the automatically reduce game sound feature and as well you have the live streaming feature so I've got my Nepenthes account on Twitch TV the server you can pick for me obviously EU is better because I'm in EU EU London of course is the absolute best for me because that's where I live uh, you can set your status your bitrate here would be the however good your internet is so you could stream all the way from 360p all the way up to 1080p live and direct from the Elgato game capture device and all you have to do is put in your Twitch information here and then hit stream I'm not going to hit it now because I don't want to live stream to people whilst I'm making this video but you hit start and stop streaming and you'll be streaming and then you use the live commentary feature either within the live stream or when you're recording an actual video if you're doing a live commentary if you're doing a let's play of a game a playthrough you hit record here you hit record on the microphone and bang you're recording not only your gameplay but also your audio it's a very very cool feature and you also have the ability to turn up or down the game sound within the game and uh, the live commentary so I can turn the game audio down from 5 decibels to 48 decibels well minus 48 so you wouldn't even be able to hear the game sound here or I could put it up to plus plus 10 and you'll be able to hear the game very very loud in fact you probably are listening to the game's audio change in the background as I'm doing this so I like to have it at minus 5 because that's where it suits me absolute best so you can you can record things here the video title you can change the game obviously you can change that's just how it sets the folders up within the PC the Mac is a little bit different so next slide I want to show you how to edit and export clips from the game capture device there is an edit section here I don't use this section personally to edit full videos for example when you see a video on YouTube I don't use this section but it is a very very helpful thing so we've got a couple of um, recordings here here's a recording that I had yesterday a game that I, I tend seem to won there um, what you can do, you've got a timeline down the bottom here. I've got 4 minutes 20 worth of footage and uh, you can see obviously on the screen the footage right there. So let's say I want to take a specific part of this footage. Let's say I want to take from here where the goalkeeper is kicking it. You click on the timeline, you press the scissor button and it cuts that little section out. Let's say I want to record to this section here again. You cut that section out. You now have this little clip here. You can see where the it's been taken away from everywhere else. So you've got one little clip specifically here. You right click on this click, split play, play segment and playhead we don't want to do, delete of course we don't want to do, zoom in and out is not necessary, new video from timeline section. So you can create new videos from within the one video you've already made. So you can actually edit entire videos within the Elgato. It's a very, very cool feature. What, right now we're not looking at actually doing that, we're looking at the whole export feature. So the whole export feature, if, when you have one video, let's say for example we didn't edit those clips, so we've got this clip here, the three minute long clip, and we just want to export this clip. 
what you've got here on the right hand side is the share panel so you can share this direct to YouTube you click on YouTube and you can actually upload directly from YouTube I'm just gonna block out my uh, my email address and name there you can upload direct from YouTube for, from the Elgato to YouTube using this share feature the same with Facebook the same with Twitter of course you can't upload a video this long to Twitter it wouldn't uh, wouldn't support it you can also put it straight to your desktop so if you go into movies right if you sorry let me come out of that if you click on to movies it will export this directly to your movie section see it says processing one video bang that's done so then if we go into my finder uh, go to me and go to my movies there you go the must be the team movie is right there and it is available to watch straight away as you can see on the screen now we're back there and uh, the quality as you can see on the screen is absolutely phenomenal so just to wrap up guys as we go back to the actual game game capture device this is how I edit this this is how I record my gameplay uh, it's I've had this device for almost two years now and it is hands down for me the best game capture device I've ever used. Uh, it, it definitely has been a blessing for me in terms of YouTube. It keeps everything that I do organized. Uh, it's, it's very, very efficient. It's never given me more than one problem and that was actually a computer error where my computer crashed and it lost the recording because of that. But the Elgato itself has never posed a single problem for me. Uh, of course, with the live com commentary feature as well you record the game you record your voice with the game which no other console in-game capture device allows so for example the PlayStation 4 you can't record your voice and the game you can only record the game and the comparison of the Elgato to something like the inbuilt PlayStation 4 feature the Elgato is far better because you don't have to send it to a PlayStation or SkyDrive and then download it and edit it you have it straight on your computer of course so this is going to be the end of the video guys if you want to see what I do from this section to where I edit it with Final Cut Pro, let me know in the comment section below. This was kind of just the transition of actually getting the gameplay, what settings I use to get the gameplay, and then how uh, how I edit that out of Elgato going forwards. But if you're a new YouTuber coming up and you don't know what to do, and uh, you've, you've been wondering for days, weeks, months, or years, how the hell do people do that? Hopefully this video has helped you a little bit. Hopefully you've got some, uh, some tips and tricks on how to use the Elgato feature a little bit more efficiently. But for now, this is gonna be the end of the video. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.